how to allow MD5 connection for a PostgreSQL user or role with Ansible? I'm going to show you a live demo with some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Berton and welcome to today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Ansible allow MD5 connection for a PostgreSQL user or role. Let's talk about the Ansible module PostgreSQL underscore PG underscore HBA. The full name is community.postgresql.postgresql underscore PG underscore HBA which means that is part of a collection of module community.postgresql maintained by the Ansible community to interact with PostgreSQL. The collection is tested with Ansible-Core version 2.11 plus. Prior versions such as 2.9 or 2.10 are not supported. The purpose of the module is to add, remove or modify a rule in a PG underscore HBA file. This is the authentication file in your, authentic in your PostgreSQL setup. This module uses the PSI COPG2, a Python PostgreSQL user library. You must ensure that Python 3-PSI-COPG2 is installed on the host before using this module. And now, demo time! Let's jump in a real-life Ansible playbook to allow MD5 connection for a PostgreSQL user or role, now called role. I'm going to show you how to create a pg underscore hba.com file to allow the user my user to connect to the current postgresql server using md5 authentication are you excited let's move it on welcome to my editor i'm going to show you one simple ansible playbook to allow md5 connection to postgresql user or role. First of all, begin our YAML document with three dash and a name for our play, PostgreSQL demo, that is going to target host all of our inventory. Let me set also become to true because uh, some operation need root privilege. Let me define one variable, db underscore user, this is the user or role that we would like to enable to MD5 connection. In my case, it's my user. Now, let's begin the code part, the MIDI part. On the task list, we have two tasks. The first is to verify that the utility is uh, successfully installed on the system, so utility present, using ansible.builtin.package module. Uh, we are looking for the package name uh, Python 3-PsychoPG2. This is the Python library used by Ansible to interact with Postgres. This state must be present in our system and now we can move it on with a rock and roll. Okay, this is the following tasks allow MD5 connection for the DB user or role. Uh, let me use the Ansible community dot postgres dot postgresql underscore pg underscore hba. Yes. Okay, now we can start with some parameter. The destination file will be in the home directory of Postgres slash data slash pg underscore hba dot conf. The configuration file. Okay, now more parameter 
These are the field related in the file, so if you are used to Postgres, you already recognize this. Configuration type is host, databases allowed all, these are the databases that the user is allowed to connect to. to. Okay, not allow is databases all. Okay, moreover, the connection method is MD5, so password based. And what else? Uh, the users list, uh, in my case, will be the value of db underscore user. Cool, we have all everything in place. Let me also set create to true to create this file if it's not present in the target directory. Let me define also some uh, privilege escalation mechanism. Specifically, we, will, we need to specify to switch to the uh, Postgres user to perform this operation. Cool, when the operation is done, we need also to restart the service. We are performing this operation with uh, notify a handler in my case, restart service. Handlers are special kind of tasks that are going to execute it only if needed. So let me define a name, the same name as a notify um, a task. And so it is going to restart a service using Ansible built-in service module. The name of the service is PostgreSQL and the state must be restarted. In this way, we are going to verify that the utility is present and create, if not present, the pghba file that allow the db user, in my case, my user, to connect to using MD5 authentication. This is super easy and is going to restart the service, uh, allowing the user to connect to. Yay! Good job! Oh, there is a typo. Okay, just notice that there is a typo here, is not uh, db user but become user. So I'm going to use the become method to change user and specifically we want the user Postgres. Yes, now the code look perfect. Let's move on to the terminal. Welcome to my terminal. First of all, let me connect to my demo machine using SSH DevOps at demoexample.com. We already set it up PostgreSQL on this machine in the previous lesson. So, uh, sudo su to switch to root user and from root we are going to switch to Postgres user. Yes, so this is the database administrator user. So if we are typing psql dash host localhost and dash capital U my user we are trying to connect to the local database using my user and we got an error we got a fatal authentication error that say ident authentication failed because Postgres expect ident authentication now let's force these authentications to MD5 so password based let me exit from uh, Postgres, root and DevOps user. And now let me execute my Ansible playbook code. So with Ansible-playbook command line and then specify dash e my inventory file. My code is stored under Postgres directory and specifically, oh, let me list the content, is called uh, uh, user underscore md5 yml okay this code execution will be super fast actually is only verify that the utility is present and it is because we got okay status then it allows md5 connection for my user we got a change status so some perf some modification were performed on the configuration file so the handler was run and restarted the service. What if we run again the same code? Well, we only verify that the utility is present and the user is allowed to connect. We got OK status, this property is called hidden potency. Please notice that the handler didn't run in this case. 
We don't need to restart the service every time. Ok, so let's verify together with uh, connecting via SSH to demoexample.com with DevOps user let's switch to root and again to Postgres user. Now the, we are going to type the same command as before psql dash h for localhost and dash capital U for user my user. Ok, this time we don't get fatal ident authentication but he's asking for password. This is the password the user that we created before and in this case we got another fatal error that actually is positive. It says that the database my user doesn't exist. So we should create a my user uh, database to, in order to proceed. But the authentication was successful. Yay! Now you know how to allow MD5 connection for a PostgreSQL user now called role. Thank you for watching. If this video was useful for you, follow the next one. We have a lot of automation lessons for you and I hope that you are going to automate more of your task. Have a great day! See us on the next lesson of Ansible Pilot. Yay! This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun.